I got a secret. If you want to find the love of your life, here is how you do it. God brought you into my life. He did. Right in the front door. <laughs> I'm going to share something with you. So are you ready? God should be the center of your marriage because he created marriage. If you want to find the love of your life, here is how you do it. You're already in a marriage and it is one that is good. Here's how you can make it better. Share with you a small glimpse into our story. The number five, five things marked off every single one of those five items that I asked God for in the woman that would be my wife. That first date. In my dating life was in my teens, it was very minimal. In my twenties, it was more about having fun and being friends. In my mid-twenties, time to find someone to settle down with. I thought I had that person. That relationship ended after several years, but God had a plan. I just didn't know it. I've got a smoking, hot, amazing, beautiful wife on the inside and the outside. And speaking of beautiful wives, look at there. There's mine right there. Oh, you shocked me. It's a shocking experience. <laughs> it was a shocking experience. <laughs> Just telling them over there, right before you pulled up, how uh, God brought you into my life. He did. He sure did. Brought you right in the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Got on my knees and I had written down five things. And I'm not going to share all those five things in this video, but I had written down five things that I wanted in my wife. If it is your will, let this person come into my life and meet these five things. Lisa and I met at church. That's what he says. And it's because, as I was just explaining to them, how God puts people into our lives. I'm the broadcast minister for our church, and I have this little window that I can see out into the congregation. And I'm looking through this window and there's this beautiful woman. I went to God and God led, I believe fully that Lisa into the front door of the church that we attend. I'm starving. What do you want to have for supper? I don't know. Ooh, that's disgusting. It's turkey. <laughs> it's turkey. <laughs> well, it felt disgusting, like somebody skin or something. <laughs> well, so what are we gonna have for supper? Well, it'll probably be some of the stuff that I meal prepped last night. Oh, well tell them what you meal prepped. In and out burger bowls, chicken fajitas. Oh, and then I made breakfast bowls. Are you guarding your frisbee? <laughs> For the course of several months, things had to take place. And I remember watching it for all of the for all the silliness in it, I remember watching a TV show. And this TV show was one of the funniest TV shows I've seen in a long time. And my, I used to slap laugh with my brothers on this. And it was actually called How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> there was a scene where he thought he had found the one. But the girl says, I'm not the one, but the one is on her way and she's coming as fast as she can. Just be patient. Now, whether you think that that was God talking to me through that TV show, I don't know, and I'm not going to say that it is or was. But I heard that, and I stopped, and I waited patiently. And within a couple of months, walks Lisa into the church building. 
Never square say God I... doesn't have a sense of humor. I'm proof of that. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> You're picture perfect. In that little window was this view, and it was almost as if the sunlight was hitting her <laughs> specifically. <laughs> And I mean that. And so I said to myself, go talk to her. And I went and talked to her. And guess what? We did know each other. We, <laughs> but we didn't know each other very well. We were just work acquaintances at that time. We talked about different things. We exchanged numbers. Had you gone on the trip yet and just gotten back? Or no, were you going? You were going. And then I was going short. I was going about a month after you did. Or maybe not that. No, probably two weeks. I don't know. So we didn't just say, hey, let's go out. Because there were several things that was happening. I was going out of town. She was going on a family trip with her mom and her brother and sister-in-law. And at the time, Lucas was this tall. <laughs> he was a little bitty. Put it on pause, but we talked. Chatted. Text messaged. Back then, they did have text messaging. <laughs> We're only talking 13 years ago, right? 14 now. 14. 13 years married this year, so for people doing the math. Our wedding anniversary, yes, will be 13 years. In July, everyone had gotten back to their places. And the messaging started back. But you know what she asked me first? The first thing that she asked me, what kind of computer can I buy? <laughs> But why, why, why was I in need of a computer? Yes, your computer had been in the first flood and it was damaged. Both my home computer and my school computer. So I had... She had no computer to get prepared for school and for other things. But I took advantage of that and I said, hey, let's go out on a date. <laughs> and she said... Yes. She said yes. <laughs> and then we had planned <laughs> to go on the date. And I said, are we still on? And she says, no. <laughs> no. Well, she said, I've got other plans. My best friend like, was playing in a tournament. And so she wanted to come uh, spend the night with me. What kind um, of tournament? Softball tournament. Sorry. Her daughter was playing in a softball tournament. So she had like two other girls with her. And so they came and stayed the night with me. And then I went and watched her daughter play the next day. Um, which was like the 4th of July or pretty close to the 4th. And then, um, so I knew it was going to be late when I got back. So yeah, basically you stood me up. Oh, devastated. it wasn't our time yet. I was devastated. <laughs> Whatever. We're done. You messaged me back. I did. A few weeks later. And I was like, okay, let's give it another shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> I knew. God had put you into my life for a reason, and I needed to find out why. We went on our first date. We did. Should I tell them what you didn't pick up on in <laughs> our first date? It's the first Friday of teaching. So, no, I, I think I'm justified in that. You're lucky yeah. I even went out with you. It was Friday the 13th, and you know how tired I am. Friday, August the 13th. Yes, and it was our first full week back to school. But she had a migraine. I know my back was hurting. That was before I started doing injections. Well, you had your, that's when the tree hit you in the flood, right? Mm -hmm. So the first flood, your house flooded. And as she's exiting her house, water's rushing. I'm carrying my little 15 pound dog. Baby we talked about in the last video. So a devastating experience she had before we even met, really met. I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you remember what you were wearing that day? Yeah, it was an Argyle sweater. Purple? No, it was navy blue. Is All my friends were like, all right, Lisa, you can't wear it because I am a t-shirt, legging, blue jean, hoodie kind of girl. And they were like, you can't wear that. You're going to have to dress up. And so then I was dressing up. And then he was like, no, you need to be super comfortable like tennis shoes that kind of thing blue jeans i thought i had put some thought into this date yes he's very thoughtful and he did put a lot of thought in planning into this first date 
but it went over just like an airplane <laughs> flying across the sky. Do you want to tell them where you went on our first day? He took me to a hotel. But we didn't check in. <laughs> so she grew up in a town that is well known for walking horses. Grew up behind the walking horse arena. In the walking horse capital in of the, the world. She also told me in a message that she really liked carousels. The activity that she said that she liked was? Mm -hmm. Putt-putt. I do putt -putt. love to play mini And if you've watched any of our videos, <laughs> we play putt-putt a lot. And mm -hmm. they had, because it was Nashville. Get your frisbee. There were horses. Not real horses, but statues of horses around the putt-putt course. The hotel restaurant had carousel horses on the wall. Then we stopped at another restaurant to have dessert, which also had horses on the wall, carousel horses. <laughs> and see, she didn't even pick up on this. And now here we are 13, 14 years later, and she still doesn't know that all these places were themed around carousels and horses. I do know it, but I don't remember seeing it all. In the comments below, <laughs> write what your first date location was. If, if he would find these five things in a woman to bring, would she be brought into my life? God walked Lisa into my life. I'm not going to say what those five things are, but on that first date, even though she had a migraine, and even though I don't remember exactly <laughs> what color her argyle sweater was, <laughs> but even though she didn't pick up on the fact that we went around a themed date, <laughs> that I found locations that had all these things for her, <laughs> she marked off every single one of those five items that I asked God for in the woman that would be my wife. That first date. And six months later, I asked you the question. You did. And your answer was? Yes. Sure. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this little fun walk down memory lane, but it really is important to bring God into your marriage. Even if it's before you even think about dating someone, you bring God into your marriage. If you've been married for many years, you keep God in your marriage, you bring God into your marriage. You ready to go eat? Okay, we're gonna, we'll continue another video uh, giving the next steps into God walking people into your lives. Have a good night, guys. We hope you liked this video. Subscribe to our channel. We'll continue down this path of having some fun. Good night. <laughs>